Now to a live look at the Metro snow team's roadmap. Plows and salt trucks worked through the night to treat all 111 routes. The purple lines indicate roads that have been salted and plowed. The green lines are roads that have only been salted and the red is roads that are still in progress. The team says they will continue to work until snow and ice has been removed from all major roads. Still, they are urging drivers to use caution with a warning about black ice overnight. Now to more on that Gene Snyder traffic nightmare. Some drivers say they were stuck on the interstate for four hours as traffic slowed to a crawl and in some spots even stopped completely. So many people affected last night. Bobby McSwine has spent the day trying to get to the bottom of this backup. Bobby, what have you been able to piece together? Yeah, Shay, like you said, the Gene Snyder may have been the most problematic area for drivers yesterday. And like you said, they were stuck on this interstate for about six or seven hours trying to get home. Now, we're going to hear from one of those drivers in just a moment, but let's take a look at the issues that drivers face today. At around 9 o'clock this morning, LMPD responded to I-264 East about a semi-tractor truck trailer and two other vehicles, one in a ditch that was blocking the road. Now, as officers were re responding to that situation, another car traveling east hit two LMPD vehicles. One officer was outside of the vehicle and suffered a minor in injury and was taken to U of L Hospital. Another person was also taken to the hospital with a minor injury as well. The LMPD traffic unit is investigating. As for crashes, there were 80 reported yesterday, 25 overnight and 75 so far today. Now, going back to the giant to the Gene Snyder, where a lot of the issues were, a man I interviewed was stuck for five and a half hours. He says he saw cars sliding off the road. He even saw some people deciding to walk. He says he's a trucker, so he's been in hours long traffic before, but he was surprised that he didn't see any emergency crews out to help. Uh, there's no telling who had babies in the car with them, uh, you know, senior citizens, maybe. There's just no telling what is going on and for, for there not to even be a single emergency response person on the scene is a joke. So we asked the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet how it happened. They said despite days of preparations, the heavy traffic on the Gene Snyder cleared the salt and brine and then more snow covered the ground and stars cars started to slide. It's just one of those scenarios where uh, we have an incident and um, can't get to the area where we need to to get the next round of material down. Uh, he said the heavy traffic blocked the interstate, not allowing salt trucks to get to where they needed to go to treat this highway. Now, it's a good reminder as to why officials remind you to keep water, snack, and a blanket in your car at all times. And Bobby, we do have another question for you. We know snow has certainly had some big impacts on the roads, but what about the airport? Did you hear of any delays or cancellations today? Yeah, definitely, Shay. So far, there has been seven canceled flights that were supposed to fly out of SDF. Now, we're going to keep monitoring that and keep you posted online and on air. But for now, I'm live in Louisville. Bobby McSwine, WHAS 11, on your side. All right, Bobby, stay safe out there. Thanks for your hard work.